So is limerence keeping you or someone you care about in a really unhealthy, toxic relationship? It might be. You know, we've been talking about limerence for a while now on TikTok, and I think a lot of people are using this as a way to think about their affair partner and think about, oh, well, maybe that affair partner is going to leave their, you know, spouse or partner for me. I just have to, you know, wait for the limerence to wear off with their spouse so that they then run away with me, their affair partner. That's a really unhealthy way of looking at the situation. And the truth is what we call something isn't as important as how that thing is functioning and how you're functioning. If you're in a really unhealthy relationship, you can know this by asking yourself, how am I feeling most of the time? Am I feeling positive and safe and supported and encouraged? Now, if you're trying to heal from an affair, you probably aren't feeling that all the time, but you're seeing glimmers of that. You're seeing your partner there trying to help you through this. You're trying to work through things. If you're on the outside of a relationship and you see your affair partner carrying on and supporting their spouse or primary partner and they're not with you and you're rationalizing this somehow as limerence, then I really want to suggest to you that that is not a healthy way for you to be carrying on. And that's not the kind of relationship you deserve. And you deserve something better than that. So please don't use the idea of limerence as or your idea of love or anything as an excuse to live in a really unhealthy um painful relationship. If your relationship is not making progress towards getting better, then it's time for you to say, is this really the relationship I want to be in? Hope that helps you.